We're back. JDKidTV.com, CUTV. We're the Black Fist Brothers, because we don't take no shit. Absolutely. Mary J. Blige, have you seen the commercial? Oh, man. Don't get Chicken! No! Oh. Chicken! That's exactly what we need. Well, uh, that was a mama, somebody that ate up all the cornbread moment. Yes, that was definitely a cornbread moment for Mary J. Blige. Uh, increasing the stereotype and setting us back 4,000 years. 4,000 and some change. Don't forget the change that we just got we, set back. We are literally back where when we had leaves over our genitals. <laughs> Cave with, with, with the song that she came out with. What was, what was it? Chicken, I love chicken in the morning. Chicken in the evening. Oh, God. I ain't heard so much soul since she sung What's the 411. Oh, God. Huh? Poor girl. And it's and it was for Burger King at that. Burger King do fucking burgers. Real love ain't even had that much energy. Hell no, it ain't had that much energy. Puffy couldn't put that much energy inside of that chicken song. That's crazy, man. Chicken! Poor girl. Oh, shit. They say everybody everybody is allowed one mistake. But you know what? Fuck Mary J. Blige, because you know why? Mm hmm I don't like her anyway. I never, I, I liked her, but now I really don't like her. I, I always wanted a reason not to like her. Now I got it. There, there's your reason. You know what I'm saying? Because she, she was never, she was always strange to me. She always strike me as a, she, she got that face. I know someone who used about. to be on drugs and yes. then they cleaned up. Yeah. That's what she looked like. Yeah, it had a setback a few times here yeah. and there. Yeah. I just, I didn't like her tattoo. Yeah, she got that lean and shit. So you were looking for a real reason. I don't need too much of a reason. Yeah. The, the bitch tattoo. Just threw me off, and then she got Keisha Cole. She come out with the same damn tattoo. Well, I got, I give people the benefit of the doubt. Like I don't, I don't just not, you know, like you in the beginning. I, I want you to give me a reason. But my motto is, everyone, this is, pay attention. Everyone is an asshole mm -hmm. until you prove that you're not. Mm -hmm. So automatically from the gate, you are, you are an, an asshole. asshole. Like nothing personal. It's not true. If I just meet you, if I just met you today, or I meet you tomorrow. I'm, you're an asshole. To me, you're, you're an asshole. I agree. Until right. over time, you prove that you're not. Because nine times out of ten, you are an ass. You're gonna end up being an asshole. But by I'm already the fact that I'm already assuming that you're an asshole, I'm not disappointed at all. So it's like not getting your hopes up high, like for Santa Claus. Absolutely not. You see what I'm saying? Absolutely not. And and, and I hope one of these kids is watching this because I want to tell them there is no Santa Claus. It's your mother and your father. There's no such thing as Santa Claus. Okay. Fuck this little fat man in the red suit. I never dug him. If a white man is walking around your house three o'clock in the morning mm -hmm. in a red suit, yeah. laughing in a, in a beard, you need to get the fuck out of Dodge, call the police. He's a pervert. <laughs> because he's obviously there for, for other reasons. And, and he's probably a priest. That's probably what it is. Priest and Santas go hand in hand. Yeah, Saint Nick and all that type stuff. Saints. Yeah. They perverts, man. Interesting. They sack tickling their way in the back row. Sack tickling. <laughs> Another message for a kid, for the kids, I wanted to give out was, never trust a nigga with an ugly baby mother. Never. You can't trust. Him. Never, because his judgment is all fucked. His judgment is all fucked up. You can't trust that. So no. that means if your mother is ugly, you don't trust your father. Absolutely not. You can't trust him. Can't. Can't trust him. Can't trust no nigga with an ugly baby mom. You can't trust him, because that means. He don't care at all about nothing. He don't care. He just want to go he, right in the yams. He he had the courage to walk out in the public with her, mm -hmm. looking like the extreme mud duck makeover, and didn't care whatsoever on a hot day. And you know, yeah. ugly people look even uglier on hot. Who hot and when sweaty? It's hot, ugly. Oh, you extra ugly. When it's hot, you extra ugly and crispy. Oh. And then you get the you get the the, the, the little ash sweat. Yes. I hate the little ash sweat that come around people glands. You just ugly, man. Then you got the motherfuckers that make their own grease. Whew. You can cook them motherfuckers. <laughs> Boy, throw they, them on the grill. They sitting on the porch just making their own grease. <laughs> just sweating grease. <laughs> got that shit. Buckets of grease just under them. Uh, before before we go any further, uh, the Trayvon Martin in in Trayvon Martin's news. Uh, they want us to leave it alone. They want us to not talk about Trayvon Martin's murder anymore, just like they wanted us to figure it about Gen 6. Mm -hmm. And when I think about the Trayvon Martin case, which isn't really a case yet, because this little Mexican motherfucker is actually still out cutting grass and shit. Yeah. And eating cereal. He got connections. But I digress. 
It's no different than Mega Ever. Mega Evers. Mega Evers. For you, for you ignorant black folk out there, you need to do your history and look up who Mega Ever is because this is Trayvon Martin Case right in front of your face. Modern day Mega Evers here. Modern day Mega Evers. Yeah. And the thing about it is, <clears throat> his father is a, is a district justice. Me, uh, uh, Trace? Zimmerman. Zimmerman's. Oh, that's he. His father's a district justice. And I, th I believe his mother was like a, a, a law clerk or something like or something mm. of that nature. So, so he's he's tied into connections where he doesn't. That this is what this is what's prolonging it. The yeah. law, the, the undermined, underhanded, fine print of the law is what's keeping him from being in custody. Mm -hmm. And while we still have a young seventeen-year-old baby, he's a baby. I mean, shit. Yeah, he's, he's, he's a baby. He's a baby. You know what I'm saying? It's and that's shame. just what it is. It, so, it saddens me. I don't know, but he can't he can't show his face nowhere else ever in life, Zimmerman. Uh, I don't think Geraldo needs to show his face anymore. Geraldo is an asshole. The biggest asshole. We don't I, even we, need to meet him to know he's an asshole. I could take you back to when he was reporting uh, for the uh, at the, the Afghanistan slash Iraq war. <laughs> I remember that shit. And he drawling in the sand yeah. <laughs> his precise location. Yeah, where he at? Like, Come on and get me right here. We're here. I'm I'm, I'm Geraldo Mustache Rivera. <laughs> the mustache is for the, the, the Mexican mustache, mustache man. Smell like a hundred ballpark francs. <laughs> Poor guy. But he said, in case they didn't know, Geraldo had a nerve to say that it was as much the hoodie's fault. The hoodie. That now he didn't blame it on a person. He blamed it on an actual hoodie. He blamed, it, it was as much the hoodie's fault as it was for Trayvon's, mm -hmm. as it was for Trayvon to, uh, to be at fault. Ain't that some shit? So basically what he telling me is the only people who are around here who can wear some goddamn hoods is the KKK. The KKK. You, the KKK are the only organization or individuals who are allowed to wear hoods. Because not one for one thing, they're white mm -hmm. and their hoods are white. Yeah. Except for if you're up in higher ranks with the, the yeah. gay grand wizards and them, I think they're red and yellow and black. And black. They actually wear black too. Yeah, one See, of them wear the red. I think, I think it's the security guards that wear red. Yeah. <laughs> the, the niggas holding down yeah. the fort. The motherfuckers that's holding down the, the devil. They fucking honkies. But yeah, he said the hoodie, man. Like the hoodie is the reason why he got killed. Ain't that a bitch? The and, but, hoodie. And, and for you ignorant folks, and let me, let me not to go off subject. For you ignorant folks. Who put hoodies on your baby and it was 85 degrees outside? You need to go to hell. Now I understand we black fist and every goddamn thing, but take that goddamn hoodie off that baby for the baby die. All right. Rest in peace, Trayvon Martin. Rest in peace, Trayvon. Uh, Zimmerman. This what I didn't know. Uh, Mill. Zimmerman's only 28 years old. Yeah. What type of Mexican fuck is a a town watch at 28 years old? He rides around a self-appointed town watcher. Who had the record of calling 911 like 40 some times in the, in a matter of two three days? You know on, this on suspicious getting... activity. Come on, man. He's not getting no yams, man. Who's 28 years time. old and doing an old man's job of town watch? There's no yams involved. He's just crazy. He riding around. Look at him. He looked like he got brain damage. Fucking me a part Mexican. What what part is keeping him out? I don't, I don't know what part is keeping him outside of jail. Because if that was a black is. man, you know what it is. He the type of boy that always went, that, that was never tough his whole life. Now that he, like, you know how them cops get. It's always the cops that turn into cops. They be punks when he was young. Yeah. Then they become cops, and all of a sudden they want to be the first one on the scene, yeah. punching you on your stomach while they already got you down. <laughs> Kicking you all in your fucking Kicking stomach. you in the face, sneaking you in the back of the seat, fucking bastard. He, did they ever put, did they, they put, ever slap cuffs they on him? They put cuffs on him, but <clears throat> when they brought him in the station, apparently, according to him, he was supposed to have a a, 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 a busted lip, a, a bruised eye. Yeah, he had none, none of that. that. But his then, was clean as a two days later, they go back and, and and zoom in on the back of his head, and it's 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 all lumpy. But you know how the, these cameras are. And yeah, everything. you yeah. you can make anything to appear what it's not. And on, you could hit cameras. yourself in the head for all that. Pretty much by that time, shit. I don't know. I, I just don't. I, it's just a shame for us black folk out here. It's hard for us. And racism is racism going. is still alive. Nowhere. Racism is going nowhere. Okay, it'll be here. Like Randy Savage said, hey buddy, <laughs> you're going nowhere. <laughs> nowhere. You, ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah. Racism is going nowhere. Goddamn shame. I, I I hope I pray for the family of uh of Trayvon Martin and and everybody else. Just just keep 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 it alive. Don't let it die because 
if we let that die, it will die with Trayvon. We can keep him alive as much as we keep on fighting to get Zimmerman in jail. Absolutely, because as much, and the thing about it is, with that, I'll add to that and we can move on quickly. If, the, if we keep this alive, then it'll probably prompt us to acknowledge things that happen like that in our own community. Mm. Shout out to them niggas who got them keys, though. Niggas, because niggas is getting money out here. Oh, they definitely getting money. Niggas <laughs> get money. In my opinion, they not bringing enough cocaine. In. <laughs> it's not enough cocaine around here. Not enough Because okay. <laughs> niggas are still getting money. Niggas is getting caught. Niggas is snitching, but it's still niggas out here getting money. It's still real niggas out here. So shout out to real niggas. It's a handful. Y'all getting it? Yeah. Shout out to you. Yeah, Keep yeah. it up. In in sports, I, I, we can touch on a little bit of sports. Mm -hmm. AI, Allen Iverson. Allen. You remember him? Iverson. Philadelphia's king. The answer. Now his wife wants answers. <laughs> about all the women that he slept with over over the time that he was in the NBA and however much time. She wants she wants a record of it. Why? Because you know women, they they think see women emotionally think that knowing is gonna make anything better, it's gonna make something better, but in all actuality, baby girl, it's making it worse on your brain. Why would you wanna know that? Why would you wanna know? I don't wanna know. I, I don't want to know shit. Like when girls go through phones and shit and read your personal stuff. You know what? I don't want to know. My thing is, who said it the best? Nah, I said, I hope you find what you're looking for. Mm. I hope you find exactly what you're looking for. Hip hop, hip hop icon. We dropping jewels today, brother. Dropping jewels. We are dropping jewels today. I know if I was AI and, and my wife would have came up to me and said, uh, honey, I just want you to tell me all the girls that you slept with over time. I, AI probably looked at them bitch like this. Listen here, bitch. Do I look like Steve Harvey to you? Like, <laughs> bitch, you better think like a woman on this one because. I am not the man in the mirror. <laughs> no, I'm not telling on myself. My nigga Tiger got a one. Tiger. <laughs> Tiger got them hoes back on deck. You know what I was. Tiger got them hoes. You know what I want to hit? You know, I, I will have so much respect for Tiger Woods mm -hmm. if, if in a, in a post game or pre game interview, Actually, a post-game interview because you, you got to go by his performance of that. Yeah. Performance. In a post-game interview, he actually just come out and says, "Well, you know, I I think I would have I would have played a lot a lot better if had I had some additional pussy." <laughs> yes. Like I just want him to say that. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. like, come on out, man. Like, just say it, dog. Because ever since you got caught, you've been playing like shit. Yeah. You ain't up on your game. You tense. I, I'll give you the answer. Your stroke is re is 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 cry. It looked like if the That's way you're problem. playing now, you would have never got as far as you were if you would have played like this back then. See, the problem is, see, that's where see, I'm glad you said something about sh his stroke, because when he was off the course, he was actually practicing his stroke. Mm -hmm. So once you stopped him from practicing, once the white man figured out a way to stop Tiger from winning, oh, let's take his pussy away because he's getting extra strokes right. while he's not on tour. Right. Right. Nigga wasn't doing nothing but putting the ball in the motherfucking hole. Let me tell you something. Golf is 70% hips. Mm-hmm. Hip motion. Hips and wrists. And what's that? That's sex. That's you need strict. your wrist to hold you up uh -huh. while you over it. And you need your hips to just go all crazy. Uh-huh. And he that, lost that little that little wop right there. He lost it. That that's hitting that left, that left, that left lip. He you know what I'm saying? That that right there, huh? That left lip is getting some penetration, baby girl. He lost it. I don't want to go off subject because because eventually I start talking about some sex on this motherfucker. Hey man, <laughs> it is what it is because this is the reason why Tiger Woods has is playing like shit. Because yeah. they took his pussy away. Took it away. But they but I guess they he must have fell off or all his girls was on their period because he he won two weeks before and he looked like dare I say it shit. So all his 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 flock of hoes all of them was on their periods because he didn't get no extra stroke. In. Oh, this bitch, he done fucked up. He, that's the, that's a man's worst nightmare. He yeah. got three joints and all of them period is at the same time. All of them. That's why I, I take a, I take a, I take a pamphlet to every guy. Like, yo, when's your period? When I'm cracking on. I, when your period? When, when next time you come on? When your period? Yeah, I need to know when, when your period drops. So, so I can go ahead and, and set my schedule accordingly. Yeah. <laughs> I be damn, I got three holes and I can't get no push because all three of these holes is bleeding. That's how you is. Kids, safe sex. Get back in it.